Okay, let's talk about Bell as a punt returner because not Lord. a fan. Not a fan. And I understand that uh, that Ray Ray's out and he should be back and he will resume in that role. I want to see Brandon Ayuk as the punt returner. We're doing the thing with Debo where he's the kick returner and I love that. But you want the ball in the best player's hands. So maybe not now through the regular season, but I think when they get into the playoffs, I want to see Brandon Ayuk, regardless of, of whether Ray Ray's healthy or not, because he's had his fumble issues as well in that role. I want to see Brandon Ayuk back there. Do you, first of all, are you not a fan of Bell in that role? And second of all, do you think just ride with Ray Ray once he's healthy, or would you like to see Brandon Ayuk back there? I mean, if Ray Ray's healthy, he's the specialist, right? He's the Smee. So I want Ray Ray back there, right? He's the guy that's given us the most out of that position. We don't definitely have a barn. We don't have a barn burner back there. I get it. But for me, I would love Debo to take over both. I would love Debo to take mm-hmm. over um, both duties, to be honest with you. He could be the punt returner and the kick returner. It's just another job. We're paying you a shit ton of money, bro. Like, you can do it. All right? It's not that big of a deal. It's one play. Just go do it. Um, so for me, that's what I would do. Now, I understand that Brandon Ayuk, Brandon Ayuk returned punts in college. Okay. So he was known to be a good punt returner, but I just Mm kind of brought up a couple of numbers and he only had 29. The most times, the most that we used him as a return punt returner is 2029. I mean, 2021. He only had 21. He only had 29 returns in 2020. He only had two in 2022. They completely ripped him off of it. Right. Now, I understand putting Brandon Ayuk as your punt returner, but that's also the equivalent of putting, like, your number one receiver as your punt returner. It's kind of out of school, right? It's like you don't see, you don't see like, you know, Diggs returning punts or CD Lamb returning punts or DK Metcalf returning punts. You know what I'm saying? So that's kind of like kind of putting your Lamborghini out there to cut the grass. Like, you don't really want to do that. But... um. I would like to see some guys that are a little bit more headsy, like maybe some DBs want to step up and probably do it. My thing with Ronnie Bell is, is that he needs to learn how to get on the ground. A lot of Ronnie Bell's effort and his issues, right, are he is slipping all the damn time. Even on the even on the the, the holding, the clipping on the Mitch Wisnowski play. You know what I'm saying? Like. He's like turning around. He's like, he's like, he's like a baby giraffe. Like he's all around the place, like falling over himself. And he's I like understand. Bambi on ice. <laughs> yeah. And it's just like, my man, like just get on the ground. Like he understood that he knew he was down because he got hit. But the way he's carrying the ball, it's like, this is not Michigan. All right. You're not playing on three inch. You're not playing on three inch long grass, like where everybody's kind of moving at a certain pace. My man, get on the ground. Outside of that, um, I would like to, I, I just want to see Ray Ray kind of take over those, those duties. Like it's his job. We, it wasn't an issue when he was there. As a matter of fact, I feel like that's why we got Ray Ray. So we can kind of like get rid of that issue. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, who was the last guy we had? Marquise, uh, uh number 11. It wasn't, it wasn't good one. Was Goodwin. it? Sorry, you're talking about good. Well, we had Trent Taylor back there. We had, um, who was, uh, Number 13. Uh, James was back there. James, uh, yeah. Who? Yeah, those are the guys that I remember. Yeah, I mean, yeah. So for me, I just, I see where you're coming from. I, I, from. I want guys who are experienced to get back there. That's not a chance for us to kind of just give reps to a guy that doesn't necessarily get the reps that he needs on offense. Like special teams is a real part of the game. It's not like an overflow room to our talent where it's like, all right, well, let's just put some guys over there. All right, punt the ball, kick the ball. We'll get it together. We'll get offense on the field. Like, no, we actually need to find guys that actually are good at that shit. So for me, I don't want to see us putting like Ronnie Bell back there because again, like we played against a team that we, let's be real, at no point in this game was I worried. Not one, like really, you know what I'm saying? But there, there are lapses in teams that we play where we see those lapses and it's like, dude, if we play against a team that kind of like has their shit together, that plays 60 minutes, right? Like, it's it, those are the teams that are going to give a fuck about field position. Like, and then sometimes we just luck out. Like, which Misnowski kicked the punt that was like 60 yards in the air and it like landed perfectly on the 10. 
<laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like that happened today. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> like we also did, we get kind of like the weirdest luck on special teams as well. But I will say that there are teams out there that sooner or later, they're going to make us pay. Like, I'm going to tell you this right now. Case in point, we're about to play Baltimore. Their head coach by trade is a special teams guru, okay? You don't think that they're going to find their ways how to how to tilt the tilt the scales in, in field position, making sure they get as much yards. Like, we played against, uh, who was that, the Rams? When the Rams, I mean, it was either the Rams or the Bucks where their takeoff, they, they were damn near getting like 35, 40 yards a pop on kickoff returns, right? And that's just elements of the game that you forget when you're blowing a team out. But those are things that kill you when you play a team that has the offense and the defense to rock with you. You know what I'm saying? Like Arizona, for, for what it's worth, Arizona's not a better team than us, right? They deserve to be, what, what are they, like 3-11 and 11 now? You know what I'm saying? They, they're 3-11 and 11 for a reason. But at the same time, you cannot ignore the fact that there are patches in that game where they could have taken advantage of our blunders. They just didn't have the guys to do it. You know what I'm saying? So that's, sure. that's more of my point. Yeah, absolutely. I, and, and again, I, I'm not a fan of Debo being back there all the time or Ayuk being back there all the time. I just want to see guys back there that can change a game come playoff time. Mm -hmm. You know, playoff time, you're going to see... Assuming they get the number one seed, you're going to see what maybe twelve punt returns over the course of the playoffs. Like, get your best guys back there, whoever yeah. you think that is, whoever you think it is, get them back there. I'm, I said Ayuk, you said Debo. I'm fine with either one. I don't know if if Debo's comfortable doing it, but and we, we know that Ayuk did it in college. So either one of them, I would be just fine with. Continue with Debo on on kick returns, and let's go that route. Yeah, I mean, I, I like I, I, this was a good game, for real. Like, if I'm Kyle, I let the boys celebrate. You know what I'm saying? Go do what you need to do. Go get a slap and tickle. Come back, and we get a lot of good film. This is great film to have if I'm Kyle, right? Mm -hmm. Because I was a I'm because the thing about coaching is you can talk, talk, talk until you're blue in the face, really. And you can tell them, even in the moment, you can say, see, see what you're doing right here. And even they don't feel, they don't even feel the wrong, right? They're kind of like, what the fuck are you talking about? A lot of players, they can't see themselves in the moment. They don't have, self-awareness is a gift, right? Mm -hmm. They don't have it. But what's, what's the elixir is that film, right? That film is like the impartial observer where it's like, hey, we won, fellas. Great job. Great job. Proud of yourselves. 11 and 3. We're still on track. But I got some shit to show y'all. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Put it on. You know what I'm saying? Like, we need to look at this run game. Javon, what are we doing here? Kalia, what are we doing here? Fred, what are we doing right here? Y'all got to fix this. Y'all got to fix this. You know what I'm saying? So, um, this was all, I mean, really, this is a win-win. We got the win. We showed a lot of concerns in areas on our defense that we needed to fix and, and we need to fix and shore up. And we have the film to, to, to hash it out. 